guys, what's up? It's it's really been a long time. Uh, I want to clear a few things up first before I start getting into it. Um, so if you don't want to listen to me talk uh, about some things, skip ahead. Uh, so first, I just want to say I'm really sorry um, that I have not made a video in a long while. This summer has been really busy doing whatever you do in the summer. I've been surfing, skateboarding, and I was also in the hospital for a couple days, um, a little bit, uh, I, I can't remember how long exactly, um, but that kind of screwed things up, to say the least, but I don't want to get into that, because I just don't feel like repeating myself, so, oh well, okay, so, um, first of all, I'm probably going to be doing um, app videos showing you how to make an app from start to finish as well as teaching you some Objective-C and um, maybe some graphics and also I'm going to be teaching you like app add-ons um, that you can um, code to make your app a little more user-friendly. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to explain it but we're going to be doing one of those today. Uh, I also got a new MacBook Air. It's awesome, really fast, uh, so now I can record uh, flawlessly. I love it. It's really been uh, <coughs> nice. Sorry about that. Um, and now I'm recording in full screen because you told me that you you didn't you wanted in full screen, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I hope you like it. So let's get started. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna be teaching you the UI switch, the on-off switch. So um, let's open up Xcode. Let's uh, create a new project. I have Xcode 4, but it'll work on whatever. Let's select a view-based application. Call it whatever you like. Call it switch. Create it. Okay. Now we're going to go to the viewcontroller.h. Make sure after UI view controller there's um, curly brackets, so just make sure of that, but before the end. So now we're going to start coding. First we need an outlet for the switch, so we can connect the switch to the switch. So we're going to type IB outlet, UI switch, we call it uh, the switch, whatever you like, whatever you want to call it, and always in your lines of code with little little semicolon. Let's make one for the label. Now this is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, I can think of uh, I don't know, there's thousands of different ways. You just gotta be creative to use this in your app, make it more user friendly. So um, I personally have. So it really helps out. So we're gonna do an IB outlet for the UI label and we're gonna call it label. And now we just have to make an action telling the what the switch is to do. We're going to define it in dot m. So we're going to do ib action uh, switch the switch id sender semicolon. We're done here. Let's go into the dot m. Okay, I'm lazy, so I'm just going to copy and paste in. Um, the IB action. Open curly brackets. Now we're going to do an if statement. So basically, what we're going to be doing is if if the switch says on, um, the label is going to be uh, the text is going to be this, and if it's off, it's going to be that. Uh, doesn't have to be just labels. It can be like I don't know what a, it can be. A lot of different things. Um, very helpful like turning off music or whatever um, so let's just start with the if if statement if the switch dot on the label dot text dot text equals at um, uh, quotations I always forget what those are called and you can write whatever you like in between the quotations we're gonna say the switch is on. 
and now we're gonna go like that. I'm gonna do else label dot text equals at the the switch is off. So now I'm gonna explain this. So this is telling the the switch what to do and saying basically if the switch is on the text is going to be the switch is on and else which is the only other thing it could be is off it's gonna say the switch is off so we're done coding let's um do the interface let's go to the xiv go there uh we're gonna drag in it's just really simple a label it's not fancy whatsoever and delete the text if you, yeah just delete the text and we're gonna drag in a switch so now let's connect these things so they work let's click on files owner and go to the connections let's drag the label to the label the switch to the switch and the switch to the switch to the switch and we're gonna do value change because the value is going to be changed so yeah so we're done uh, let's run it um, so let's turn it off it says the switch is off turn it back on the switch is on off on off on and so on and so forth okay thank you for watching one more thing, uh, again, I'm really open to suggestions. Uh, I Just please give me suggestions. I will definitely try to make, try to suit your suggestions. I will definitely take all suggestions into account. Um, it's really great. I might also do some mechanical stuff because uh, I'm pretty good at doing mechanical things. I like doing it. Um, so, I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you later. Uh, bye.